Globy, what's that spinning around your head? Wait a second. I think somebody's inside there. There is! I know what that is! That's the International Space Station, and it's orbiting our world as we speak. Do you know why they call it the International Space Station? It's because several nations across our world have joined together for this huge project. The countries and space agencies include the United States, which has NASA, Russia, which has the Russian Federal Space Agency, Japan, with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, Canada, which has the Canadian Space Agency, and 11 European nations, which make up the European Space Agency that has headquarters in France. All of these nations work together to build and run the space station. American astronauts serve on the ISS with astronauts from Germany, Russia, Japan, and Canada. In fact, astronauts from 16 different countries have served on the International Space Station, making it truly international. Construction of the space station began in 1998. Much of it is finished now, but there is still work to be done. NASA is working hard to complete the station before retiring the space shuttle. The huge cargo bay on the shuttle is used to carry materials and large pieces that are added to the ISS. The International Space Station is the largest man-made satellite that orbits Earth. It travels around Earth at a speed of almost 28,000 kilometers per hour. That's about 17,500 miles per hour and means the space station can orbit around Earth about 16 times every day. The space station is in low Earth orbit, which means it's not as high off the ground as other satellites, like the Hubble telescope. The ISS orbit is only about 350 kilometers from Earth's surface. That's about 220 miles. That seems like a very long way off, but we can make a quick model to show you just how close low Earth orbit really is. Let's use this basketball for Earth in our model, and this softball for the moon. Since the moon is about one-fourth the size of Earth, these two spheres are close to the right scale. Using that scale, how far away do you think the moon should be from Earth? This far? Maybe this far? Well, it just happens that the moon and our Earth have another unique relationship. The distance between the two is ten times the circumference of Earth. Earth's circumference is the distance around Earth at the equator. We know Earth has a circumference of about 40,000 kilometers. The distance to the moon is 10 times that, or about 400,000 kilometers. We can use a string to place the moon in our model. If we wrap the string around the basketball 10 times and stretch it out, we can see how far away the moon should be. Now where on this string do you think we would find the International Space Station? Halfway? A fourth of the way? Actually, it's much closer. Using this scale, the ISS would be less than one centimeter from the surface of Earth or just about here. Because the space station reflects the sun's light, and because it's in a low orbit, it shines in the sky. In fact, if you're in the right place at the right time, you can see the space station without having to use a telescope. You can track the ISS on NASA's website, so you can go outside as it passes overhead, look up, and see it for yourself. It may look like a bright, fast-moving star in the sky. The space station has giant solar panels that absorb the sun's light and convert that light into electricity. This electricity is used to power the space station. And because the space station's position to the sun is constantly changing as it orbits Earth, its panels are able to rotate and adjust to make sure that they are always capturing the sun's light. Astronauts aboard the ISS use the solar power to make the electricity needed for living and working in orbit. Scientists from all over the world can use the space station to conduct long-term experiments. The U.S. part of the space station has been classified as a national laboratory, which will help scientists learn new things in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. One of the most important things scientists want to study is the effect of outer space on the human body. Our bodies change because of the reduced gravity in space. NASA is conducting experiments to help us understand more about these changes and how to overcome them. And there is no better place to explore these problems than the ISS. The station offers a big advantage over NASA's space shuttles because astronauts can stay on the space station for much longer periods of time. Research conducted in space has taught doctors and scientists that astronauts need to exercise to stop bone and muscle loss. Scientists have learned much about sleep problems by studying the sleep habits of astronauts as they experience very fast day and night cycles because of the speed of the ISS's moving. 
what the doctors and scientists learned in space can also be applied to the same problems on Earth. Astronauts and scientists from around the world are working together on the International Space Station to solve problems and to prove new ideas. By working together, they can accomplish some pretty amazing things. Hey Globy, I wonder when the ISS is going to pass over my head.